Tua Tungavailoa suffered yet another concussion last night in Thursday Night Football, making this the third one we've seen on national TV. My name is Dr. Betsy Grunch and I am a board certified neurosurgeon and I wanna talk a little bit more about this injury. If you guys follow me, you know that last year when he suffered that scary concussion, I explained the pathophysiology of why your body can assume this position after a concussion. It's a little scary for Tua to be honest because this is the third time we've witnessed this type of response in his brain after he struck his head. We saw in last year's injury when his head struck the ground, his hands sort of reached up and clenched by his face. And last night, his body assumed this fencing type position after he fell to the ground. Here is a slow-mo of what happened last year when he fell to the ground, struck his head, and then his arms contracted by his face. And here is last night's injury when he had an axial load as his head struck DeMar Hamlin's chest, and then his head was then rotated to the side and then he fell down and then struck the back of his head. After falling to the ground, his body seemed to assume this fencing type position where one side of his body flexed and the other side extended. It's not really a seizure, but it's a position that the body can assume after a head trauma. The arms, hands, and legs can involuntarily assume this position within seconds of hitting your head. What actually happens within the brain is fairly complex, but I'm gonna break it down in simple terms. When there is a sudden stop of the brain within the skull, there can be traction on certain nerves, causing them to spontaneously fire. In the brain, in the cerebellar peduncle, which is beside the brainstem, there is a nucleus called the lateral vestibular nucleus. If those neurons within the nucleus are stretched, like with a mechanical injury to the brain, those neurons will spontaneously fire. That then sends spontaneous signals to the spinal cord that controls the muscles in the arm that makes them flex like that and cause that fencing type response. So in very simple terms, when you sustain a concussion, these nerves within the brain can spontaneously fire and make your body involuntarily do this type of response. It's not necessarily indicative of how severe a concussion is. Certainly how it visually looks is concerning. This is to us third time doing this in the past two seasons. It'll be interesting to see how his doctors weigh this out and determine when he can return to play. And this type of injury doesn't necessarily mean that he won't be able to return to play. It's more of when and how his brain responds to this injury and how quickly he can recover. Certainly as a physician that handles brain injuries, these concussions are extremely concerning for long-term brain injury that we know can happen with multiple concussions and can lead to CTE. In terms of longevity of his career and how his future looks in football remains to be seen, I really hope that he and his physicians make the best decision for him. Ultimately, football is just his career and he is a young man with a long life ahead of him and I only wish him the best. Get well soon, Tua. We're all thinking about you.